The other one was uh, Jeremy Riddle, The Reset, talking about how worship has been, I don't know, pretty much put on a <clears throat> band pedestal, and it's no longer worship. What do you mean a band pedestal? So it's like every other band. At worship has become like ACDC or like Metallica. Oh, so so it's become it's become pop. Exactly. It's, it's become something that it was never meant to be. It's and, become a a, a money making business. Well that's that's and the it thing. has been since the nineties when with Michael W. 80s. Smith. It started in the eighties. So in the it, it started before that, but eighties is when not secular out, companies started buying comes to mind. worship bands. Yeah. So when something secular, something worldly, not inside the religion, not inside the faith, buys it, all they care about is money, which is business. Everybody can understand that. So they just have to push out numbers, push out things, and it it took away from what was supposed to be religious worship. Time out. We might have an intruder. They confused. Oh, don't hit each other. Uh, they must be doing a country yeah. talk. But yeah, this this book really talks about how worship has gone off the tracks and is pop now, and it's no longer well what it was meant to be. We've had this conversation before. We have, and I be- I read a book about it, and I I have had it, it's one of the reasons why I am not a fan. Of and I go out of my way to not listen to most Christian music is because what ends up, I don't end up thinking about God. Yeah. I end up thinking about these people are using God to make money, and yeah. that's all I can think about. And maybe that's not the right way. Maybe that's something fucked up in my head because maybe the message is fine, but the people are the problem. But it doesn't change how I feel about it. Well, and and most of them out there and. Jeremy Riddle even talks about in in the reset. They've been doing it this way for so long that they were trained that this is the way, and they don't know because they're not investing time in their faith. They're not investing time in spending time with God. So both books, both self development. I don't do worship at all. Most worship I don't like because a lot of it doesn't feel real, mm-hmm. and that's that's just me. But those, I'd, like but, time, but, I'd like to chime in on it. Go ahead. So. It, you know, I was talking to somebody actually earlier today about this, or was it? Yeah, it was earlier today. And um, in the music industry, it's keeping up with the Joneses, right? So it's who, who how do you market to the next generation? And and you're looking at millennials and and Gen, Gen Zers, Z. right? Right now, and even alphas that are well, coming I'm up. I'm millennial. Yeah, well, you're not marketing to millennials anymore because. I mean, you know what millennials like to listen to, um, and and you just keep making records. I mean, Metallica is is the first thrasher type music to actually go mainstream from the '80s, and they're still playing and making records, right? They have good. They had made good business sense and changed the way they make music or the, the they, sound they... of the music to accommodate listening ears right for one album for one right. album and and then you take uh is not uh what's her name she was country now she's pop taylor swift taylor swift 90 percent of who buys her albums are women right and but she made a good business move switching to pop her, still making her money. best business move was becoming her own owner Yes. Yes. Real, not, realistically, yeah. no longer in debt or having to deal with it. She became her own. Not not letting right. her parents drive her career. Yep. Which and I I get why she has a hard time with her relationship with you know the faith. But and... I I still give her props and her parents props because they may have she was good she was yeah. really good mm-hmm. and they put her foot in the door. Everything else that happened. That's personal between her and her family. Right. But they got her foot in the door. Right. But to get back on the topic of the worship, millennials and Gen Zers right now are wanting to listen to to rap and hip hop, which is mostly just babble. It's well, just which is now bl- just bl- pop. Bl- 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 it, well, yeah. You know, hip hop is no longer, unless you hit the non-mainstream artist, yeah. which they're, they're still out there. 
I listen to. I mean, a there's few. a lot of Christian, good Christian rap that's out there, like Thistle or Lecrae or you know whatever. But um, the worship I like, it, it's actually it's all about hits you hard. Like it actually, yeah. you can tell it's soldier. Like there's Pastor Mike Jr. <clears throat> like during his songs. He actually prophesies. He says this will happen. Well, that's why, like a lot of the the old school bluegrass yep. is what I really get down on because when they're talking about God, I truly feel like when they're, they're talking, talking about, about anything though. It's not just God. They're talking about their struggle. Yes. And when they do bring God into it, you're like, I feel you right now. Like mm-hmm. I'm and I'm and I'm there. I'm invested now. It's not just oh yeet yeet trunk. Something right, gat shoot drugs like it just. Or if we're gonna take it to the country, oh, <laughs> I'm I drive my tractor <laughs> and I got my dog, beer, dog, girlfriend, truck, train, Church. train, whiskey. And it's like this man Speaking has of which, jerky, jerky. <laughs> This man has never seen a tractor. <laughs> I saw one earlier today driving on my street, and I was like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I mean, in the middle of the city. There is a business model that needs to go into everything to make it profitable. There is. Now, the level of what you go into business model could potentially negate what you're doing. Like, look, we're going to stay real. This is what we're going to do. We're going to be real, period. You don't like it? Don't sponsor us. Don't invest in us. Don't, and that's that's where some people go. And some right. of them make it big. Some don't. Yeah. Then the others are go so far business that I no longer have a backbone because I'm so invested in money versus what we started this as. Mm-hmm. But that was that was my book talks <laughs> on my sides because Jeremy Riddle the reset was really good and it definitely gave me perspective. Same with Wisdom of the Bullfrog. Both leadership and then worship wise, it gave me a different understanding. Go. So now I can pick out what's the good and the bad for me, at least. 